Today, we're going to be talking all about how to properly take off your tie and how to store it. What's up, all you good for the fly guys? You know who it is, the Cat in the Hatch resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michael Andrews, StarArchitects.com, here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to this lifestyle thing. And today, we're going to be talking all about how to take off your tie. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, like, I just take it off. There's nothing to think about here. But if you want to have longevity with your tie and you want to be able to make sure that you can get some extensive wear out of it, then there's a proper way for you to take it off and to store it. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to take it off, right? And then you'll also know how to make sure that it is maintaining its shape and going to be ready for that next wear. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, Welcome. This is a great time for you to be here to start learning about proper maintenance when it comes to your clothes. Because if you know me, then you know that I believe that it's not always about what you can afford to buy. It's also about what you can afford to maintain. So if you find the information beneficial, please consider subscribing. I would love to be a character in your lifestyle story. If you have already subscribed, like Hi-Fi and Reese Racer, then you know I appreciate you. And now all you have is one more thing left to do, and that is hit that notification bell and that way you will be notified each and every time new content comes out so now this is going to be a pretty quick video because it's more about the how to um of how to take off your tie and how to store it but before we get there you know that if you've been rocking with me for a little while you know it's always about the consciousness of your character the construction of your character and ultimately the communication and even though we're just talking about taking off your tie there are certain things that you need to think about in maintaining a constructive wardrobe that you can continue to build on and actually what it says about you so just a quick story i want you to imagine Imagine yourself coming in from a late night, you've been out having fun, you were looking dope and you know, great, and you met a young lady or you're coming home with your lady and you guys are about to get it on. It's about to get popping. And the natural inclination is for you to just rip off all your clothes, right? But then the next morning when you sober up, you realize that was your favorite shirt, that was your favorite tie, and now it's ruined because you didn't properly take it off. When all you had to do was spend a little time doing this, simply making sure that you untook your tie, right? And slid it right off. It was that simple. And the way that we do that is by reverse engineering, essentially, how we put our tie on. So the only way that you have to remove your tie is in the reverse manner from how you put your tie on. So if you tie the forehand hand knot, you need to remove it in reverse forehand hand. So the same ways that we talked about how to tie a forehand hand, then make sure you check the uh, info bar up here and we'll talk about how to tie it. If you tie the half Windsor, same thing. Info will be right there and you have it all done. Now, all you need to do after that is put the tie in a space. We're going to put it all together just like this. And then we're going to roll it so that the fibers and the silk, if you're wearing a silk tie, can get back to its original shape. Now I've been told that you need to only store it like this for um, 24 hours, otherwise it can damage the shape. That hasn't, experience, that hasn't been my experience. I actually keep mine in my drawer um, and it maintains a wonderful uh, shape every time I need to whip it out. I just simply drop it and then get ready to put it on. But for some people, they're saying that you should put it on a tie rack because the, the ties can't hang. Gotta figure out what works for you. Um, that's been my experience. And it's actually that quick, that's it. Just you taking those two minutes, this is less than two minutes, for you maintaining and keeping your ties in good measure, it will actually communicate that you care about the things that you appreciate or that you are investing in and that may show you some love when you're dealing with the young lady. But I actually took time to, to get undressed and appreciate the ritual that comes before a lovemaking session, even if it's going to be an assertive and aggressive one then that means that I'm probably going to take time and attention to the body that is before me. So I want you to try that on, see how it fits you, and answer this question of the day. 
How do you take your tie off? Have you ever considered uh, this practice that I just talked about? Or do you simply just take it off any kind of way? And what are you thinking about when you do? Love to hear those thoughts and leave those comments in the comment box. Outside of that, you know it's another great day. It's another opportunity for you to be great today. So make sure that you are stepping out and showing up in style. And above all, that you are never forgetting that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you, yes you, should always dress to express. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.